Natalie's about to walk in and I'm gonna scare her. Natalie! <laughs> It's Lanessa and Julie, and today we're going to be doing some ASMR tapping. This time will be different. Does that sound familiar? I heard the same thing, Ness. <laughs> Where did that come from? This time will be different. Isn't that what you guys are reading in the book club? Yeah, yeah, we have a meeting November 18th and I chose six. Hey, where did you come from? It doesn't ring a bell. Oh, well, I think book club's reading that book. I think they are. It should be in I chose six, right? And I think the meeting starts at 3 p.m. on November 19th. Make sure to go to Book Club. Subscribe for some more. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Lola. All right, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And on this fine environmental Monday, I will be doing a clothing haul. So first thing I got, which isn't actually clothing, but I thought was totally necessary, was a hydro flask. Especially because I'm all about saving the environment and sustainability, and especially saving the turtles, I thought a hydro flask was especially important. And getting a green one to symbolize the turtle shell was especially important to me. So the next thing I got was actually something other people might be interested in too. This really cute graduation robe that I thought really resembled the ones from Upland High School. And actually, Upland High School seniors can find out more information and will be receiving dates on when they can purchase their robes on November 21st, which will be distributed by Herf Jones. All right, well, that's all I got for you guys today. Sub Chusters, it's me, Sarah, back at it again with another Minecraft Let's Play. Today, I'm starting over on a new survival world. We're going back old school. Um, kind of lagging here. It's okay. I'm pretty sure it's the new update. Huh? The due date to submit senior porches is... Why is there a random sign? It's kind of... What the frick? Approaching the final deadline. No exceptions. I saw another sign here. For the yearbook will be on December 1st. How does Minecraft know? <gasps> PSS Imaging is coming back on campus November 12th to November 14th. You hear that, guys? Call them at 714-630-7785 or go on their website, too. Oh, there's a chest. Make an appointment. Available times 2 p.m. to 7 p.m. Well, guys. Whoa! I just got a whole bunch of diamonds. I think I'm just going to call that the end of the episode, guys. Thank you. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of BuzzFeed Unsolved, where this week we will be discussing Anne Boleyn, who's probably one of the most famous ghosts from the Elizabethan era. Anne Boleyn's ghost is one of the most famous in Britain, if not the world. She's often seen the way she was in life, which is happy, young, and beautiful. But unfortunately for those who see her, she's also seen the way she was after her husband, Henry VIII, beheaded her, with her head tucked neatly under her arm. It's fair to say that the Anne Boleyn ghost is one of the most notorious ghosts in Britain, so let's take a trip through history to learn more about what happened to poor Anne and just why we see her so frequently. Wait, did you say Elizabethan era? era? Yes. Elizabethan era? Yeah. Yeah, I said that. I've heard of that. I mean, that's not so uncommon. It's kind of popular. A little bit like recently. That's still pretty common. But okay. No, 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 no. It's... Okay, okay, yeah. It's the Upland High School Choir. They'll perform in like a theater, like dinner thing. Okay. Where they like go back to the Elizabethan era and like capture the moment and they have like a full on dinner with all these guests and it's gonna be in December on the 12th and 13th at 6 p.m. and then that weekend it's gonna be on the um, at 5 p.m. Okay, that's okay. But it's like, do you think we're gonna be able to see her there? I mean, we can find out where she is, but I have to like keep talking about the topic for us to like actually know where she is, so I'm just- Hey, hey um, I have a question. Yeah. Um, do you mind if I hand out five great Scots this week? Um, sure, yeah, I think we can do that. Okay, cool, thanks. Talk to you later. You're welcome. Bye. Okay. So the great Scots are awarded to the students of Dublin High School that are caught being good. This week's great Scots are Locke Hugh, Nicholas Sampson, Nathan Tykin, Shelby Fogelsong, and Damien Martinez. Make sure you head down to the student store to pick up your gift card. 
Hey guys, thank you for watching this week's Student Bulletin. Shout out to the new English teacher, Miss Polisco. Also, shout out to the girls behind me for making this week's Student Bulletin. <laughs>